Welcome back to Ozarks Fox Day and the official, well, unofficial. The official, off, unofficial. The official, unofficial. Thank you. You're welcome. Kick off to summer. <laughs> uh, last week, Maddie and I were saying, why don't we just grill the things that we love to grill and show the viewers? So my favorite thing to grill in the summer is grilled cabbage. Sounds weird, right? Yes. Where did where did this grilled cabbage idea come from? Okay. I've never even heard of grilled cabbage. I've heard oh. of cabbage, obviously. So I was at a like a friend's party get together barbecue. I mean, maybe 15 years ago, maybe okay. 12, 15 years ago, and she was in there prepping cabbage. Like, what are you doing? And she says, Oh, I'm grilling cabbage. After that day, and I had her grilled cabbage. I have done it this way ever since. Wow, okay. So no credit to me. This is not my recipe. I just am copying a friend. Okay. But the great thing I love about this is it's low carb as well. So I can mm. have my amazing grilled food. So what I've already done is I prepped some last night that are already on the grill because it takes about an hour to oh. grill the cabbage, wow. depending on the size of the cabbage head that you get. Yeah. So I quarter it. You could do eighths if you want. So let me show you what I have in here. This is one that's not been prepped yet, but I have it cut from yesterday. Look at this. Okay, so here it is. Here's just a quarter uh, cut of cabbage, okay? You can do it a variety of different ways. I like to do it in the foil. The first thing you're gonna do is take your olive oil okay. and just drizzle with olive oil. Just a little just drizzle. Just a little drizzle do ya. Look at this. Okay. And then you I have my little- You really coat that though. Oh, you the coat it because this is what's gonna help make it tender while it's grilling. Got it, okay. Now we will be adding, and you know what, did we bring napkins? We did, Maddie. Okay, I did, I'm gonna yes. get my hands messy a little bit. Cause okay. what you wanna do is then turn it over, get all the excess, and you wanna coat this and bad boy like this. Paint it. You're just Almost. painting, yep. Yeah, just a little coat. Okay, I know we're gonna get to these seasonings, but I already saw this dry rub and it's looking real good. That this is the good. one that's famous that we've talked about on the show many times with Travis Burks and with uh, Haley Page from Price Cutter. Okay. So, for, oh, sorry. First, I'm gonna do is salt and pepper. Okay, salt and salt pepper. Salt and pepper. Ooh. I just put it all on this side of it. There we go. So you don't flip it to do the other side. You just do the the open face. I just do side. the open face side. Okay. It, you'll you'll see once it comes out. It, it's gonna have. Uh, this is from I believe. Is this the JB Spice Blends? I don't know. I I meant to grab the <laughs> Red Dirt Road at home, and I grabbed this one. Anyway, it's still good. <laughs> So I grabbed the wrong one. Okay. okay. But anyway. But that's a dry rub. This is a dry rub. Uh, oh goodness, who does this one? I don't even know. But what I use at home is the Red Dirt Road from JB Spice Blends. Okay. And I just drink a little bit on that. We get up early. It's still dark out. It's, I understand I how like, that was a mistake. <laughs> what did I grab? I'm sorry. That, and by the way, guys, that is all. Just make sure you have enough olive oil because you want that oil to heat yes. and kind of saturate. What I tried this time that I've never tried before is I prepped the ones that are in here. I prepped them yesterday, so had good. them sitting all oh, night God. long. So okay. hopefully it's really. Yeah, because if you didn't yeah. do the olive oil or enough olive oil, it'd be yeah. really dry, right? Yes. And kind of like cr like too crunchy. Absolutely. You don't want a crunchy grilled cabbage. Then you're going to okay. roll this right like this. Okay. Just make sure the foil is all covering it. And then guess what, guys? We're going to come over here to the grill. You're going to see I have three already on here. And look at this. I'm going to place it like that first. Nice. Look how beautiful they look. And what I'm going to do too is periodically I'm going to take it and I'm going to flip them to get all those different sides. Now right now at this Traeger grill I have at 375, but we can also turn it up because I didn't know Maddie how much you wanted for the uh, the hot dogs, how hot you wanted it for the hot dogs. I think 375 is fine. Can I close this? Are we good? I'm going to close that really fast. Then. Leave it that up. heat that is escaping. Good. It does feel good though. That is it. That's now, it. the how only easy. thing... That's, right. It's so easy, it's so good. The only thing we're gonna do at the end, which I'll show you, is we're gonna take a stick of butter and just lightly butter the two sides. Ooh! And then we're gonna sprinkle some Parmesan on top. Oh! Wow. The only okay, thing, geez, I love, I love reaction. cheese! Can that be a meme? And <laughs> Maddie going, ooh! ooh. <laughs> the only thing you could add that I did not bring because I was too tired last night is crumbled up fresh bacon that you can pot on top. Oh, oh my God. man. I was lazy last night, wow. okay? I was tired and I was like, I'll skip the bacon, but you get the idea. You can that add. That good. Yeah. It's, I, guys, I don't want to oversell it because I love it, but it's but my go-to in the summertime really for a very tasty, low-carb side as you're grilling. So put the burgers, put the chicken, put the steak, uh -huh. the ribs, whatever you're doing, add that on. And I add this on first because this takes a little bit longer to cook. I was, gonna, okay. I was gonna ask, do you, how do you eat it? Do you peel it off like almost like potato chips or do you cut it, into okay. it with a fork? Very good question. Thank you. It should be, we'll see how it ends at the end of the show. It should be so tender that you eat it with a fork. Or that you, you eat just it like, with a fork? Really? You just take your fork and burp. Now, we have plastic forks today, so I don't know if that's gonna work anyway. Okay. <laughs> and again, if it doesn't have enough time to cook, we'll see. I tried to add them as fast as I could, but it should be so soft and tender that your fork will 
I didn't even see you come out here to put these on the grill. Did you do that or did you have like a fairy godmother come do that while we well, were in the studio? It was like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it was, I just put them on right before you walked out here. Like, I went to the kitchen really oh, okay. fast, got it. grabbed it, and just threw them on right before we started the second hour. But, I got you, I got you. But again, I'm going to flip. I just added that one. I'll flip it in a minute. I'm going to keep so flipping them periodically. Side. Yep, the three okay. sides. Three sides. Two burp, 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 burp. But guys, again, I'm just going to say it's terrible. You're going to hate it. I don't want to so over... So there's more for him. I just want to oversell it. I want <laughs> I, it to be, like, lower expectations. I was curious before we started shooting, there was parme Parmesan cheese, and I'm like, cabbage and cheese, like, what? But, yeah. So do you sprinkle the cheese and then it just naturally melts, or do we put it back onto the grill? No, I just I usually just take it off when it's hot because it's going to be so hot. Yeah, it should be on the grill. I put a little bit of butter, sprinkle it, and just kind of let it sit there to cool down. Okay. And then as you eat it, it just should melt in your mouth. By the way, too, I'll show you what I'm going to bring this parm over here. Yeah. I brought this uh, from Price Cutter. The other kind of parm that's really good is the one that's the powdered kind and the round. You know what I'm talking about? You put oh, yeah. pizza? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, for pizza. Mm -hmm. You could also use that one, and it's super good. Okay. So really, any cheese is good, though. Any cheese is always a good idea. Any cheese is add, fantastic. Add more cheese. Can't go wrong. <laughs> but I was like, and I hope I haven't made this on the show before. I was talking to producer Jake. I'm like, it's my go-to. I'm surprised I haven't made it yet on the yeah. show. But I love it. Well, I'm so, happy it's our first it. day in the Weather Garden, and it's our first time trying this. And it's your first time making it on yes. the show. <laughs> okay, so when we come back, I'm going to start on my Mexican-style inspired hot dogs. Don't go anywhere. Yay! Yummy. My hands smell so fruity. <laughs>